It could be make or break time for Greece. Athens will make a last-ditch attempt to find a deal with its European creditors. This at an emergency summit of Eurozone leaders later on Monday. The country could default within days if nothing is agreed upon. In the meantime, though, thousands pouring onto the streets of Athens in support of their government ahead of these crucial talks. And Greeks, afraid that no deal will be struck, have been withdrawing cash at unprecedented rates. And people are stashing banknotes in their homes as they try to secure their savings. They've taken out almost 5 billion euros in just one week. Now, the uh, frenzy prompted the uh, European Central Bank to increase uh, emergency funding for the Greek banks. In fact, uh, British tourists have been told to bring plenty of cash when travelling to the country in fears that, that the uh, bank machines could stop working. And an increasing number of holidaymakers are reportedly asking for their money to be kept safe uh, in the hotel safes. But the Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras and his finance minister both seemed rather relaxed and confident before heading to Brussels for Monday's negotiations. I'm not going to give you a press conference while I'm trying to escape. Okay, sorry. Athens has now handed over its last-minute reform proposals. Uh, details here with RT correspondent Peter Oliver. Now, this all comes down to Greece really needing a amount of seven or so billion euro worth of bailout money, extra bailout money, in order to be able to pay its bills, basically. At the end of this month, it has a 1.6 billion euro bill to pay to the International Monetary Fund. And we heard last week from the, uh, the head of the Greek Central Bank saying that if they don't receive the extra bailout money, there's not a chance that they can pay that. Now, we have heard from the European side what people are saying is the blame game that's been going on between Athens and the creditors. It has to stop. The game of chicken needs to end. And so does the blame game, because this is not a game and there is no time for any games. Well, Angela Merkel also has a key role to play, and this was highlighted in an article that uh, Yanis Varoufakis, the Greek finance minister, uh, wrote over the weekend. Uh, he said that she can basically hold all of the cards. So we're going to be keeping a very keen eye on seeing what exactly the German side say, what the European side say, and of course what the Greek side come up with. But it's all important day for Greece, and it really is crunch time for them. Whether they're going to stay in the euro, whether they're going to be able to keep their bank balance balances afloat, um, it's all going to be decided today. Meanwhile, several European cities saw rallies in solidarity with Greece over the weekend. In Brussels, thousands waved Greek flags and chanted their support. There was also a strong showing in Amsterdam at a rally for the anti-austerity Syriza government in Athens. Also similar scenes throughout the weekend in Paris. And Syriza campaigner Anastasia Giamali told us that if Greece's creditors don't make any concessions, then simply put, there's no reason to stay with the euro. During the past five years, the, pa the, the, the Greek people have suffered a lot, have suffered severe austerity, severe cuts. And I don't think that they have anything else, anything more to fear. The Greek government is willing to find a workable, mutually beneficial compromise. If the creditors have no respect for the people's will, if the creditors cannot understand that austerity can no longer continue, then I don't see why Greece should remain in the Eurozone.